Hi friends, this is Gautam. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about Nextop resolution protocol. So this is continuity of uh, introduction to DMVPN. So let's we, let's see. So we need something that helps our branch one router to figure out what the public IP address is of the branch two router. So we do this with a protocol called Nextop resolution protocol. So in DMVPN, branch office 1 to branch office 2 can communicate directly. So whenever the branch 1 router wants to send some traffic to branch office 2 means it will form the tunnel automatically. So the only thing is the branch 1 router should know the public IP address of branch 2 router. So with the help of next to resolution protocol branch 1 router to figure out the public IP address of branch 2. <coughs> okay, so here one router will be NHSRP server and all the routers will be NHSRP client. So NHSRP client register themselves with the NHSRP server and report their public IP address. So NHSRP server keeps track of all the public IP address in its cache. So when one router wants to tunnel something to another router, it will request the NHSRP server for the public IP address of the other router. So since NHSRP use server and clients model, so it makes sense to use hub and spoke topology for multipoint GRE. So our hub router will be an NHSRP server and all the spoke routers will be an NHSRP client. Okay, here is an illustration of how NHSRP works with multipoint GRE. So here, <coughs> this is the example scenario. So branch office 1 and branch office 2 once form the tunnel. So both branch office router through the NHSRP registration request packet it will register themselves to the NHSRP server uh, this is my public IP so likewise they will register. So here we can see above we have two spoke router NHSRP client which establishes a tunnel to the hub router. So later once we look at the configuration you will see that the destination IP address of the hub router will be statically configured on the spoke router. So this point uh, during the configuration part I will explain this point. So hub router will dynamically accept the spoke routers. So the router will use NHSRP registration request message to register the public IP address to the hub because here in, in our scenario, hub is considered as an NHSRP server and all the spoke router considered as an NHSRP client. So the router will use NHSRP registration request message to register the public IP address to the hub router that is NHSRP server. Okay, the hub, our NHSRP server will create a mapping between the public IP address and the IP address of the tunnel interface. So this is the mapping table. This is an head office is a NHSRP server. So this is a private IP and this is a public IP. So a few seconds later the spoke one, the spoke one is a branch office one. So decides that it wants to send something to spoke two that is a branch office two. So it needs to figure out the destination public IP address of spoke two that is a branch office two public IP address that is 3.3.3.3. So it will send an NHSRP resolution request asking the hub router what the public IP address of spoke 2 is. So branch office 1 try to form a tunnel between the branch office 1 and branch office 2. So immediately branch office 1 send an NHSRP resolution request to NHSRP server that is a head office to figure out the public IP address of branch office 2. So the hub router check its cache. So this is a hub router uh, that is an NHSRP server. Check its NHSRP cache. Find an entry for spoke to and sends the NHSRP resolution replay. So once find the entry, so it will replay to the branch office with the help of NHSRP resolution replay to spoke one with the public IP address of spoke two. So hub is a head office and the spoke is a branch office one and branch office two. So spoke 1 now knows the destination public IP address of spoke 2 so and is able to tunnel something directly. So this is a great we only require the hub to figure out what the public IP address is and all the traffic can be sent from spoke to spoke directly. So here the yellow color line I mentioned the tunnel between the branch office 1 and branch office 2. 
so with the help of nhsrp the branch office one figure out the public ip address of branch office two so now it can build the tunnel between branch office one and two so now the traffic will be sending directly between the branch offices okay so when we talk about dmvpn we often refer to an underlay and overlay network so underlay network is a network we use for connectivity between the different routers for example internet so underlay network means it's like a public ip address and overlay network is a our private network with the gre tunnels so underlay network in dmvpn underlay network is a public ip address and overlay network is a private ip address okay so in in nhsrp terminology you will see that we don't talk about public ip address but nbma addresses so in nhsrp terminology uh, we don't talk about public ip address so instead of that we can say nbma address so nhsrp is an old protocol the rfc from 1998 so which was originally developed for nbma networks like frame relay or atm okay friends i hope you all liked the video so share your comments with me so if you have any queries please reach out to me thank you friends thank you for watching my video